here's a reminder to like the video, subscribe to the channel and press that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any videos. Welcome to the 10th round of Queer Lit Readathon. This is my vlog. It's the sixth time I am taking part in this readathon and I'm always excited about it. I have been really excited for the last half year waiting for this readathon since I took part in June. It's so much fun. I have finished the first book for the readathon. It wasn't a long book, it brought me so much joy. I'm not going to go into details of why, because that would actually spoil the story a bit. But I absolutely love this. It's a middle grade queer book. It would cross off spooky queers because it has a haunted house and it's a bit, little bit scary uh, sometimes, but not too scary. It brought me joy, so it crosses off the square for brings you joy also middle grade. Did I say middle grade? No, I didn't say middle grade. So there's three boxes from the bingo board in the first day, so that's yay! I kind of want to talk about this book, but I'm afraid that it would spoil the reading experience for some people, and I don't want to do that. Just yes, just yes. This, this was a good start for the readathon.
from home, so I didn't read as much as I normally would do. I did a little bit of reading for work, but that's not related to this readathon at all, so I'm not including that book. I didn't finish it either, so that's okay. But I did finish Dead Space by Callie Wallace, and I thought that I would put this into the five-star prediction. Before I say anything else about that, I want to just make it clear that I normally don't give stars to books. And since I don't do the whole star rating thing, I actually kind of change it until a book that I think I would love. Of course, I'm not going to be able to change it on the bingo board, but personally, I interpret it as a book I think I would love. Did I end up loving this book? Yes, I did. This was a brilliant book. It's a mix of a mystery thriller and science fiction. In this book, we meet Hester Mali, and she is an AI expert, but after a catastrophic event, she is now in an investigator, and it's mostly petty crime. Then something happens, she gets a mysterious message from someone she used to have as a friend, then there are lots of things happening, and she goes off to investigate things, and there's a lot of stuff happening, and it's such Ah, oh, it's so exciting! Her love interest in this book, it's not very central, but the love interest uses they, them pronouns. I have read several places that the main character is supposed to be a pan. I will cross off beyond the LGBT. Also, genre mashup, because it's mystery thriller and science fiction. My next read, I will start now. It will actually be another middle grade book. The thing is that the book I had originally planned to read for the Norwegian queers. I thought that was trans femme as well, but it turns out it's absolutely not. It's trans mask. Then there's this Norwegian middle grade book, which is a follow-up to another book called Vi skulle vært løver, We Should Have Been Lions. The book I'm going to read now is called Jeg er Leona. That is about a girl who comes out as trans. Leona, or I am Leona by Linne Bagsta. So that was my third read for the readathon, and I will talk a little bit more about that in a bit. First, I thought I would say a little bit more about Dead Space. I was so excited after having finishing it, so I kind of forgot everything I planned to say, or I'm not very good at planning what I'm going to say. I totally forgot about like all the prompts, or I remembered some of the prompts, but not all of them. I actually had put this on catch up as well, because this has been on my TBR ever since I bought it. Of course I bought it because it has a Pan main character, and I'm still trying to read more books with Pan main characters. The five star prediction, which I switched into a book I thought I would love. Also, I put time travel for this. First I thought that time travel would be like the actual time travel, but then I was reading more about the prompt and I saw that it could bring the reader into the future or back into history. So this definitely brings us into the future with artificial intelligence and space travel and all that kind of things as a science fiction. So that makes it even more prompts for me. And then Jai Ar Leona, I am Leona, which is going to cross off trans femme as well as Norwegian quiz, which is my own prompt. It was a fairly good read. There are some things in it that I don't totally agree with, but 
that's fine. It tells this story about this trans girl who comes out as trans and she starts what in Norwegian is called Ungdomsskolen. I'm not sure if it's middle grade in England or in the US or something else, but it's Ungdomsskolen is like the age of uh, 12, 13 ish. It's kind of that age. It's about her coming out and the hate she meets and how people kind of spreads hate and spreads hate online, talks to her in a very nasty way and how that hurts. It hurts so much. You kind of get angry when you read it because it hurts. So that was my third book. So on to the next. I'm going to do the group read now. I actually borrowed the book as a hardback from the library but it's a big and chunky book. I downloaded the ebook instead. I'm going to read the ebook because Tomorrow I will be off to Brussels, to Belgium. I will spend the rest of the readathon in Brussels doing hand luggage only, so I am not able to bring this big chunky book, but I will bring my e-reader. Mm -hmm. 